हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोर्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द जेक वेरी एनिमेट इफेक्ट इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस जेक वेरी इफेक्ट एंड वी नो हाउ टू यूज सर्टेन इफेक्ट लाइक फेड इन फेड आउट एंड द स्क्रॉल अप स्क्रॉल डाउन इफेक्ट टू मेक चेंजेस इन अ एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट्स टूडे विल टेक अ लुक एट द जेक वेरी एनिमेट इफेक्ट इन पर्टिकुलर so before we begin make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos so without any further delay let's get started here is the code from the last part wherein we used the scroll effect in an image the image slides up on clicking the slide up button and the image slides down on clicking the slide down button we can also stop the sliding effect in between by clicking on this stop button as well so far we have been using these effects to make our web pages more interactive right now this animate effect we'll use in today's video is a bit different from these effects the animate effect uses css properties and it can be used to make an image or an object like a rectangle or something move across the web page in a particular manner seems confusing right so let's start writing the code and everything will be clear to you guys we'll be using an image for this task so let's remove all this code from here first we'll write the code again now we'll remove this code from here and we'll write the code again so let's add the image over here and then we'll style that image using the style tag only so we'll write here div we'll be using a container for this inside this we'll write img now src is going to be images slash j1.png so we'll be using the same image for this task then we'll write here alt so let's say we are writing here something and then we'll write here id as img let's say fine let's close this image tag save the program now and you can see the image over here the image size is quite large we can reduce the size of our chrome browser so you can see this is the image now what we'll do next is we'll style this image using the style tag so let's style this image as well here we'll move to a head tag and we'll write here style fine now inside the style tag we'll access this image using the image id so id for this image is img we'll write here hash img and then inside this we'll write some properties over here so let's define the height of this image first let's say the height is going to be 250 pixels then we'll write here width as well so let's say the width is again 250 pixels and we'll use opacity over here fine we'll write here opacity is equals to let's say 0.4 we'll discuss it later why we are using opacity here now the last thing we are going to do is we are going to write here position as absolute so opacity here will define the fading effect of this image save this program and you can see it here on the browser we have a picture with an opacity of 0.4 it's obviously different from the actual image let's increase the size of this image for now so here is the image now the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be adding a button over here to call the animate effect for that we'll write here after this button and the button id is going to be let's say btn then we'll write here the name of our button is let's say animate save this piece of code and you can see we have the animate button over here we'll use the br tag to create some distance between the button and the image so save this program and you can see over here that we have a button and an image now we'll use the animate effect to make this picture move across the browser or we can say across the container so we'll use the click event for the animate button now let's move on to the jquery part here we are in the jquery part we'll remove this piece of code and now we'll try to access this animate button using the button id fine so for that we'll write here dollar inside this we'll write hash btn so this is our button id and then we'll write here dot click we are going to use the click event over here then we'll create an anonymous function this task is easy and here we are we have used the click event here so the next thing we'll be doing is to use the animate effect now so for that we'll write here dollar now we are going to use this animate effect over a image so the image id is img and then we'll write here dot 
animate and we'll leave it for now. Now this animate effect over here has three different parameters. The first one are going to be the CSS properties, the style changes we are going to create on our picture. So we'll write those changes inside the curly braces. The second parameter is the timestamp. And let's say we are using 2000 over here. So 2000 over here is the milliseconds. Now the third parameter, which is the callback, we'll be discussing callback in the upcoming videos. For now, we'll use these two parameters only. Now let's move ahead and we'll write the CSS properties here inside these curly braces. So we'll write over here. Let's say we are writing here left and we'll write here left as 150 pixels. Fine. Now this left property over here will take the image 150 pixels away from the left side of the container. So save this program and now you can witness the changes on this web page. Click on the animate button. And you can see the image slides over to the right corner. The animation takes two seconds to complete because we have given the timestamp here as 2000 milliseconds. Let's reduce the size of this Chrome browser a bit. And now you can see it properly. Refresh the page and we'll click on this animate button and you can see the image slides over. The effect is working fine. Let's make some more changes to this image style by clicking the animate button. All we have to do is to add some more CSS properties to this animate effect. And for that, we'll write here some more properties with the help of commas only. So we'll put a comma over here and we'll write here, let's say opacity. So we'll change the opacity of this image to one. Then we'll again use the comma and change the height and width as well. So let's say the height is going to be 400 pixels. And then we'll write here width as well. Fine. So width is going to be again 400 pixels. So we are done with it. Now the height and width of this image will change to 400 pixels along with the opacity changing to one. It means that the image will be completely opaque after clicking on the animate button. Save this program now and move to the browser. Click on the animate button here to see the magic now. You can see the size of the image increasing gradually here in two seconds. However, this animate method does not have any toggle function though. So we can't retrieve the changes just by clicking on the button again. Let me reduce the size a bit more so that it will be easy for you guys to understand this effect. Here we are. We have this effect. Click on the animate button and you can see the change now. From opacity as 0.4 to opacity as 1. There are some changes in the animations, right? So this is what animate effect does in jQuery. Now, instead of writing here 2000, what we can do is we can write here slow or fast. So let's try doing it as well. What we'll do is we'll write here instead of 2000, we'll write here slow for now. So we'll write here slow, save this program, click on the animate button again, and you can see the change. So it's not taking two seconds anymore. Now the slow keyword will work and the animation effect will change. Fine. So that's all that we have to discuss in this animate effect guys. The task for you is to create another button over here to revert the changes and make the image get back to its original form. A very simple and easy task, right? Try doing it guys and let us know if you face any sort of problem. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we will go through callbacks and chaining in jQuery. If you like this video, then do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Good. Thank you.